This tutorial will show us how to query our MySQL database using Java. In order to do this, you're going to need to go to my website and go to the JDBC project and then find lesson three. You're also going to need to make sure that you've got your MySQL server running and here's one running on XAMPP and I showed you how to set this up in a previous lesson. So let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do then is to come here and we're going to take this print pupils method from my website. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it in my dbase class. And so this is typical Java. I'm going to make sure the dbase class handles everything to do with the database. So I'm going to put the print pupils method within that class. The dbase class does everything to do with databases. And I'm going to explain how this works in a moment, but let's just check that everything's okay. So let's go over here to where my main method is, and I'm just going to call the print pupils method. There we go. I'll run this, and I'm going to get an error. It's telling me here the blue coat student doesn't exist. Let's just go back and just check something. Um, it says here that we're selecting from the student table. And that's just a typical MySQL statement, typical SQL statement. But if we go here, I'll just check my table here. I call this student with a, a lowercase s. So I'm just going to change that there. And now if I run this, and we can see that's worked. So that is. This method here has uh, queried the MySQL database over here and it's just simply printed the stuff out here in the console. So let's take a look what's going on here. In the print pupils method, the first thing I've done is I've created a statement object. Now a statement is just something there to hold a SQL statement. And there's a typical SQL statement there. What I've done is that I've called the make connection method and I set that up in a previous tutorial. So that make connection method just makes the connection to the MySQL database. I then execute the query based upon that statement and that is returned in what's called a result set. Now a result set is simply just the results of that query. So it's a list here. And I'm going to go through this while statement to print out each part of that result set. When the result set is returned, there's something clever going on here. When the result set is returned, it's returned with a pointer pointing just before the first entry. So we can see here with our while loop, it says while the result set has got a next value in it, if the pointer is pointing here just at the beginning, has it got a next value? Yes, it does. So while it's got that, it gets the next value. It gets the next row from this result set. And then I'm just printing out the forename, then I get the string forename. And you can see I've used the getString method here. When I set my database up, I deliberately made everything strings or varchars in MySQL. Later on, we'll have a look at putting in ints and dates, but you can probably guess what the methods for those are going to be. So we print out the first row, we get to the end of the while loop. Does it have a next one? Yes, it does. My point is now here. So it then reads in the next one, prints that out. Point is now at the bottom. Does it have a next one? No, it doesn't. We've finished printing everything out, and now I'm going to close the connection. And that's it. That's how it works. Now, there's a lot which isn't very good about this. I've hard coded in my statement. All this will ever do is print everything out from the student um, table. Another good thing, or another bad thing I should say, is I'm just printing stuff straight to the console. It would be much better if I had a GUI or something else running here. But I'll show you how to do that in a later tutorial.